So in this tutorial, um, I'm going to teach you how to determine the original phage titer or concentration of a sample of the sample um, using plaque assay. Um, so if you were given an example um, that 100 micro microliters of phage sample was added to whatever it was, 900 micro microliters, to make the first dilution. So it's 100 plus 900 is 1,000, makes 1,000. And 100 in 1,000 gives you a dilution of 1 to the 10. And if this is repeated five more times, meaning that you dilute the same sample five more times, um, meaning that you make it dilute each time, uh, dilute uh, by a factor of 10, meaning you're like adding, for example, more water, you're making it less concentrated, um, you end up with six tubes in a dilution series. Um, and then you plate out 100 micro microliters um, of the dilution um, to, for ex uh, not just one dilution, for example, three dilutions to make sure that you're within a reasonable range. Um, so, for example, 10 to the negative 4, 10 to the negative 5, and 10 to the negative 6. So, you plate these out and you basically let them incubate a week's time, whatever. Um, and then after they have grown, you'll, be, you'll notice plaques on the plate. And you should count the number of plaques on the plate to be able to use this to calculate the original titer of the sample. So if the number of plaques counted was, for example, 12 um, for the 10 to the negative 6 dilution, we only need, technically need, the number of plaques for one plate, for one dilution. Um, because using this, you'll be able to figure out um, the original sample. Um, it is helpful to check your work and use the other um, num the number of plaques for other dilutions to be able to see if you did anything wrong because they should all add up to the same, not add up, but they should all um, result in the same um, titer. So the dilution factor, as stated, is 10 to the negative 6. That's the plate that we counted that has 12 plaques. As for the volume of sample that was plated out, it was 100 mic microliters, also stated above. And the number of plaques, also stated above, was 12. Now, the problem is we have 12 plaques for 100 microliters we need to be able to change that to 1 ml. So we do this simple calculation, 12 plaques for 100 micro microliters, how many plaques for 1,000 microliters? So you do cross multiplication, 100 times x equals 12 times 1,000, x equals 12,000 divided by 100, which is 120. But it doesn't stop there. You have to multiply that by the, by the dilution factor. So 120 times 10 to the negative 6 gives you um, your answer in PFU per ml. So it turns out to be 1.2 times 10 to the power of 8. Sorry, 10 to the 6, not 10 to the negative 6. And that is how you calculate your um, original stage tighter.